Hi everyone, welcome to another sketching video. Now in today's video I will be sketching with colored inks. Now recently I bought a set of Dr. PH Martin's Bombay India ink. Now these are the colored versions. So there are 12 colors in this particular set. By the way, if you are wondering why there are some spills on the cap, it's because when I bought it from Amazon, one of the bottles leaked out and it leaked quite badly. You can see here, it leaked all the way. So that's why some of the bottles have ink on them. Let me put them aside. So that's Peach Martins Bombay. This is a small bottle of Super 5 ink. This is supposed to be waterproof. I got this as a free sample from this shop called Shop Orex. And lastly, I have these tiny tubes of ink. These are the Artrimentis document ink. They come in different colors. I have yellow, cyan, black, and magenta. So I'm going to test them out today. I'll be using a dip pen for the Bombay ink. All the inks are pigmented, so they are not suitable for use in fountain pens, with the exception of the the Artrimentis document ink. They are said to be safe for fountain pens. Anyway, I'm going to start with Dr. PH Martin Bombay. This is golden yellow. So some of the pigment actually separated from the water. I need to shake this a bit to mix this properly. This is a very beautiful color. Let's open this. I actually have a problem with this piece of thing here. It always comes out. All right. Let me dip this pen into the bottle. You can use the eyedropper to dip onto the to drop a drop of ink onto the dip pen so you don't have to constantly dip it into the bottle and that helps keep the ink clean without uh, helps prevent contamination. Now the color is very nice. It runs out of ink rather quickly. The ink flow is very good. It's quite wet actually. Let me switch to a different color. Now I'm using orange. You can see this thing here. This is quite irritating. I always have to peel this off. It doesn't stick into the cap so it's very troublesome. This is orange. It's a very dark shade of orange, but it's very vibrant, which is really cool. This is actually my first time using ink bottles like this, colored inks like this. This is tangerine. So if I put this dip pen into the ink and without it drying or cleaning this, uh, pen nib, the colors are going to blend together and there's going to be some sort of color contamination. Oh, this is a very nice color. The colors are really very striking. One thing I do not like about using dip pens is you have to constantly dip the pen, so it's a bit inconvenient. But this is the only way to use India inks. After this color, I'm going to move over to the Super 5 ink and then the Adramantis. Now I'm using this orange color ink from Super 5.
Now I'm going to switch over to the Atramentis. This is magenta. I'm using my Sailor fountain pen, the one with the cross emperor knit. Now this nib is able to pick up more ink. The ink is quite smooth. Color is very intense as well. So I sort of mix a bit of magenta with the cyan. That's why this color is quite dark. There is some color contamination going on. Let me clean this and try again. The cyan is still quite dark. Perhaps that's the actual color of this. By the way, I will review all these inks uh, properly in a separate review. So this is just me testing the inks for the first time. I'm going to try the brown Bombay ink as well. This is Van Dyke Brown. I'm using the Duke Confucius pen. Wow, too much ink. So this is going to take a while to dry. The ink flow on this particular fountain pen is not the best. It's quite random actually. Oops, oops. Either that or the ink doesn't flow that well. Perhaps it's the ink. Let me go and wash this pen and try another color. And now I'm going to try this color called Terracotta. Seems like the ink is a bit too thick. Let me just switch to using a dip pen instead. It's like my fountain pen has some problems. Okay, I definitely feel that this color is a bit thick. I need to shake this properly. And this color doesn't flow that well either. Let me clean this properly and try again. No, it doesn't it doesn't work. This color doesn't work. I will need to investigate what's wrong with that color. So let me just close this. Let me switch over to red violet. All right, this thing is working fine. So it's definitely a problem with those two brown colors. Van Dyke brown and terracotta. And now I'm going to apply watercolor over the sketch to see if the inks are waterproof. So yes, the inks are waterproof. Some inks, they do not flow quite well. I need to find out what's wrong with them. So when watercolor is used over the colored inks, it's actually quite nice. 
Some of the colors are more suitable for pen and ink art uh, for use with watercolor. Some are not that suitable, I feel. The inks are quite fun to use. And that's all for today's video. I will post the detailed reviews for the three brands of inks in the future when I have more to say. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.